All right, class, it is time to get educated on Craigslist scams. This is Craigslist scams 202. You're too good for 101. Let's learn how to lose your money and your MacBooks. First thing I want to point out is Venmo's website says, in all caps, do not use Venmo to transact with people you don't personally know, especially if the transaction involves the purchase or sale of a good or service. For example, electronic equipment. Wait, but Ben, that doesn't make sense. I mean, Venmo's like cash, right? You you have this and, and it's... Just like cash. No, it's not. What if I take the cash from Venmo and do the immediate bank transfer, not the two to three day free one, but I pay the fee and then I get my money instantly, right? And then I can't get screwed. Wrong. Look at the screenshot from Venmo. They can literally send the money back to someone's Venmo from your bank account. Straight. Venmo can take money from your bank account and give it back to the person who's scamming you out of your own money. Damn. But you end up shipping it to them and they cancel the transaction with their bank or they say they never got it because they give you a fake address, which is why they say, can you ship this to my grandson or my nephew or whoever? And since it's shipped to the wrong address, they claim, honestly, it got shipped to the wrong place and never got it. Okay, so that's the Venmo side. But what about PayPal? I mean, PayPal protects you and you can get your money back. Not the case. Get it? There's a case and a case. Typically what they do with PayPal is they will send you a fake email that looks like it's from PayPal and says you have money coming but it's not actually PayPal. It's a fake website that the scammers make and you think the money's gonna come to your bank and it's not even real. Or the most genius scam of all is on PayPal, they put in their address and ask you to ship it to their address. Let's say 1234 Grove Street. And on PayPal, sometimes you have to put in the tracking information to release the funds. So it says funds pending and then when you put in the tracking number and it knows that you shipped it or it got delivered, PayPal gives you the money. Sounds great, except while your money is frozen, they will ask you, oh, actually, can you ship it to my grandson or my friend or I'm going on vacation, can you ship it somewhere else? You end up shipping it through a FedEx label to a, the address that's not the same as PayPal. So then they go to PayPal and say, he didn't ship it to the right address. And that's when PayPal goes, wait, okay, the tracking number says it shipped to somewhere else. You didn't ship to 1234 Grove Street. You shipped to 2550 Asshole Street. And then PayPal gives that person their money back. You shipped someone a free MacBook and you don't get the money and you're screwed. Also with Venmo, even if you do the transfer the same day option, you still have two to three days for Venmo to take the money back from your bank and you can go into the negative and you get hit with a withdrawal fee if you don't have that money in your account. Case closed, hope you learned something. Don't get scammed.